beta can be amped. Today we will see the capacitance calculation. Capacitance of three phase line symmetrical spacing. Symmetrical spacing. Okay. We will take the conductors for symmetrical spacing. Taking three conductors for symmetrical spacing, or are placed equally, the distances from each and every face. The distances are same. The distances are same. The conductors are. A, B, C, the distance is, I will represent the distance with another color, the distance between any two conductors is same, D. Okay, now, now the charges of each and every conductor, the charge is QA, the charge is QB, the charge of conductor C is QC, and also assume that. QA plus QB plus QC equals to 0. This is equation 1. Keep in mind this equation and now we will write the assume point P. Assume point P is far away from the conductor. So assume point P is far away from this combination. Okay. Now the flux linkage in between A and P. Sorry. Here I am calculating capacitance, therefore the potential difference between A and B due to charge of A, QA, it is 1 by 2 by epsilon QA L 1 by DA volts. What is the distance from self distance? A to A is for capacitance calculation, it is R. Therefore, VA VA equals to 1 by 2 by epsilon QA ln 1 by R volts. Next, I am calculating VAP due to charge of B. Therefore, it is 1 by 2 by epsilon. QB ln the distance from B to A. What is the distance from B to A? It is 1 by 2 pi epsilon QB ln. The distance from B to A is D. Observe in the diagram the distance from B to A is D. Okay, next. BAP due to charge of third conductor C. It is 2 pi epsilon QC ln 1 by DCA. It is equals to 2 pi epsilon QC ln 1 by the distance from the distance from conductor C to A. The distance from conductor C to A is D. Therefore, it is Okay, now, pulse. Therefore, the total potential difference between A and B due to all the charges is add these three equations. Sorry. Add these three equations. VA, BA plus. VA, BB plus. VA, B, C. I am adding these three equations. All the terms. 1 by 2 pi epsilon is gone. QA ln 1 by R plus. QB ln 1 by D plus. QC ln 1 by D. Here, QA term and QC terms are same. Therefore, I am common the QB plus QC from this expression. 2 pi epsilon. QA ln 
1 by r plus qb plus qc ln 1 by d. Therefore, what I am getting? Rho phi epsilon qb ln 1 by r. What is this term? qb plus qc, we know that initially qb plus qb plus qc equals to 0. From this equation, qb plus qc equals to minus qa. Substitute in the place of qa plus qb, I am getting here minus qa ln 1 by d. From this, we know that ln of a minus ln of b, ln of b is equal to ln of a by b. Therefore, finally, what I am getting, it is 1 by 2 by epsilon to a ln d by r. Okay. B, B, A, B, or B, A, whatever. From this, the capacitance of uh, conductor A, C, A, or A is nothing but phase conductor. So, therefore, capacitance for conductor C phase equals to 2 A by B, A. Substitute V, A here. From this equation, substitute V, A here, we can get 2 pi epsilon ln D by R farad per meter. Substitute epsilon equals to 1 by 36 pi into 10 power 9. In this equation, we get C A over C phase capacitance per phase equals to 2 pi 36 pi, it is 18. Therefore, 10 power minus 9 divided by 18 ln divided by or added per meter. Can convert this 10 power 9 into conductor per phase or conductor per the capacitance per phase or conductor 10 power minus 9 divided by 18 ln a by r. Okay, this I am converting this is microfarad per kilometer also. Okay, this is the way we will calculate the capacitance of a phase in d phase symmetrical space. Okay, now we will see the problem on this capacitance calculation. The problem is, and also we have to calculate charging current for the three phases. Okay, the charging current is the charging current is. The charging current expression is equals to J omega C phase VL by O3. It is J omega C phase V phase. Have to keep in mind this one also. They are asking about finding the charging current also. Okay. We will see problem on the capacitance calculation. Capacitance calculation. The problem is a three phase fifty H, a three phase fifty H, sixty six KV transmission line, sixty six KV transmission line has its conductors, has its conductors arrangement of Arrangement of at the corners, arrangement of at the corners of equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle of three meters part okay. and diameter of the conductor. Diameter of each conductor. The diameter of each conductor is 1.5 centimeters. What they want to determine capacitance per phase. C per phase. To determine capacitance per phase and 
and the charging current, charging current IC, if length of the transmission line is 100 kilometers, here we given 100 kilometers line with these specifications, we have to calculate capacitance per phase, capacitance per phase and we have to calculate the capacitance for this per phase and the charging current per phase of a 100 kilometers line. Okay. So on the given first we have to write that. The given it is a three phase system. The conductors are arranged at equilateral triangle. The conductors are arranged at equilateral triangle with the distance of three meters. Assume that it is conductor A, B, C. The diameter of each conductor is 1.5 centimeters. 1.5 centimeters. Therefore, it is a three phase, 50 edge, 100 kilometers long, 66 kV line. With the diameter of the distance is 3 meters apart. It is nothing but 300 centimeters. Diameter of each conductor is 1.5. Radius of each conductor is 1.5 divided by 2, 0 0.75 centimeters. What is the formula for capacitance per phase? Capacitance per phase C phase equals to 10 power minus 9 divided by 18 n d by r. So, shoot the values of d and r here. 18 l and 300 divided by 0.75. How much you get? It is 9.28 eco farad per kilometer. But the given capacitance per phase it is. The given length equals to 100 kilometers. Therefore, we have to calculate the capacitance per phase for 100 kilometers. Therefore, multiply this one. 0.928 to 10 power minus 12 into 100. How much you get? 0 0.928 microfarad per kilometer. Microfarad per kilometer. Okay. It is in meter. Now, can go for the charging current calculation. IC equals what is the formula for IC? J omega C phase VL by root 3. Here we EL the given 66 kV. Okay, now J omega equals to 2 pi F. C phase the given 0 0.928 into 10 power minus 6 into 66 kV means 66 divided by 66 into 10 power 3 divided by root 3 j 2 pi into 50 into 0 0.928 into 10 power minus 6 into 66 into 10 power 3 divided by root 3 to get the current is 11.11 .11. So, this is the way we will calculate the capacitance of a three phase transmission line symmetrical space. Thank you for watching.